Alright guys, today in this video you will be learning every basic move of Roblox Parkour. From runs, jumps and crouch, to landing, vaulting and run triggers and more of course. I hope you guys will learn enough in this video. If you guys wanna see the advanced tutorial, just leave a like and be sure you subscribe so you can see the video when it's published. Enjoy watching and good luck learning. Running is one of the easiest moves in the game. You might think shift is the keybind for run, but no. To be able to run, you have to press and hold double the key on your keyboard. There will be one or two second walk animation, then you will start seeing run animation after that. If you just want to walk instead of running, then press and hold C key on your keyboard. If you want, you can always change your keybinds to something else. Jump has three individual styles. First one is basic jump that requires to press spacebar once. If you perform that while running, it will increase your speed slightly. Second one is edge jump. If you jump on any edge of the object or building, you will start edge jump animation. And it will increase your speed slightly as well. To perform that, you have to be in run animation and not in walk animation. Once you are at the edge of the building, just press spacebar once and you will do the edge jump. The third one is high jump that allows you to jump higher. To perform that, hold double key, press middle mouse button and hit spacebar really quick after that. Once you press middle mouse button, you will see green bar bottom of your screen. You will hit the spacebar before green bar disappears. At the starting of the game, Crouch will be one of your best friends because you will get a lot of damage. Crouch has one special ability and that is health regeneration. Once you get damage and you survive from it, press and hold control key on your keyboard and you will see your HP goes back up faster than normal. There is also crawling exists in this game. If you do crouch animation and press any of the movement keys, you will be crawling. And if you keep continue pressing the movement keys, it will continue that direction. One of the real deal moves in this game is vaulting. You will be using that a lot as well. Vaulting is basically going over object or a thing. If you get close to any object that is kind of smaller than your character and press spacebar once, you will see it does a vaulting animation. If you hold spacebar instead of hitting once, you will do a long vaulting animation that will allow you to go upwards. If you include movement keys like WASD, to long vaulting, it will this time allow you to do long vaulting that traction. There's two types of vaulting animation, one of them called monkey vaulting, another is speed vaulting. If you press G on your keyboard, you will switch your vaulting animation and yes, you can change this button with some other button from settings. Springboard is basically a vault, but you use your legs instead of your arms. Once you make a springboard animation, you will be going upwards. To perform this move, just press and hold W key, then press spacebar before you get too close to object. Once you get edge of the object, then hold spacebar or double tap space. That is pretty easy move as well, all you gotta do is press and hold shift button once you are in a run animation. If you are not in run animation, then it won't work. Landing. So we use landing to survive from falling. We will be focusing to perfect landing and it has two styles. First one is precise landing and second one is roll landing. You can call them both basically perfect landing. The most used ones are perfect landing with rolling and also perfect landing with roll but you cancel the animation. To perform this trick, I simply want you to climb crane and come to this place. As I showed in the video, you will save your position in case you want to go back to top faster. You will be jumping from the crane and when you almost go into hit ground, you will press shift. You will be jumping from this crane and when you almost go into hit the ground, you will press shift on your keyboard to perform precise landing. If you're too late to press shift, 
you will die if the place you're jumping is too low. If you press too early, you might die or take high amount of damage. To perform a perfect landing with a roll, you just have to precise landing but this time you have to press and hold any movement key, like WASD. That will help you to roll. If you want to learn how to cancel animation of perfect landing with rolling, all you have to do is perform a perfect landing with roll and after that hit spacebar. It will cancel your rolling animation and turn into jumping animation instead. Climb. To perform a climb, there is a three step reach, grab, and climb. First, you will hit spacebar and try to reach the edge of the object or building you want to. Once you see you're reaching, then press space again to perform grabbing the edge. Once you see you grab the edge, then you can hit one more space to climb top of the object or building. This is not that useful move in the game, but we can use climbing to perform a wall climb boost. This is a advanced move and I'll be showing it in my next tutorial video, so you can subscribe to see it. Also like if you haven't yet, thank you. You can also climb to cranes or pipes like you do in every other game. You can also use them to save yourself from falling. Drop down. It's invented to make jumps faster and going down from high buildings easier has two styles. First one is basically drop down allows you to jump downwards of the object or building. To perform this you have to look straight from edge and press shift button once. It will do the trick. Second one is long drop down and allows you to stick the wall and slides you down for a short time. To perform this you have to look straight from the edge then press and hold shift button. As long as you keep holding shift you will perform the move. Speed roll or you can call it run trigger as well because this move I'm going to show you right now is really useful if you want to start your runs faster especially if you're doing time trails a lot. To perform this move speed roll all you have to do is hold the control button on your keyboard and it will do the crash animation. Once you did that click middle mouse button after you did the roll quickly press the W key to the start running and that's it. The reason I call the run trigger and speed roll is basically Whenever you try to run, there's always 2 seconds walk animation and if you do speed run or run trigger, whatever you want to call it, you will skip to walk animation and you will start the run animation immediately. And that's every basic move in Roblox Parkour. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If I missed any move, just let me know in comments and I'll be doing part 2 if it's necessary. I'll be doing the advanced tutorial as well, so smash that like button, it can give me a lot of motivation and can make things go faster for everyone. That being said, I hope you guys learn new things and I hope you are able to do them as well. You can always join our Discord server and ask if you have questions. It doesn't have to be about parkour, but it can be about Roblox or Discord generally. Also, I have a cool merch that I spread around the Roblox community, so check them out. I'm pretty sure you might like some of them. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see that advanced tutorial when it's published. And you can also check my other videos related to Roblox parkour. For now, take care and peace out.